And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and cast him into the abyss, and shut it and sealed it over him, that he should deceive the nations no longer, until the thousand years should be finished. After this, he must be loosed for a little time. You know, many Bible believers think this binding of Satan happened sometime in the past. They think Satan and his fallen angels are imprisoned in hell, waiting on that day to be released for a period. Very common belief these days is to believe that this is a prophecy, something that's going to happen in the future. However, the Bible does not teach this concept at all. We just think from our reading of Revelation, Satan will eventually be thrown down to earth. But this brings up a new question. Where is he now? The casting of Satan out of heaven that is recorded in the book of Revelation could actually mean one or two things. One, Satan will be thrown out of God's presence at a particular point in history, which is still in the future. Or two, Satan was previously thrown out of God's presence, but still had access to heaven. Because this verse that I'm about to read says Satan has access to heaven. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of the darkness, against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. And these verses say, He's still on the earth as well. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, as a roaming lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. The enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Now Jesus calls Satan the prince of this world. And the apostle Paul referred to him as a ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Now, I'm thinking Satan does not live in hell, nor is he in a pit awaiting release. He lives and works on the earth and in the heavens that circle it, according to those verses. Y'all know Satan is the father of lies, though that might explain some of it. And most likely, he influences and rules the world right now. Satan desires worship, and he uses deceit and distractions to draw man's focus to himself as in we think he's God. The world worships Satan in one way or another except for those who know the true Father's kingdom. It sounds like Satan is not restricted to one location, does it? It Sounds like Satan is free to be as nasty as he wishes. Sounds like Satan has all the powers as if he was God. Maybe the God we're giving all our prayers and worship to is indeed the adversary. Now you do know the two old dudes believe Yahweh, the war god of the Jews, is none other than Satan himself, the father of those lies. And it sounds to me like the issue has been twisted. And if he does exist, he's not in a pit waiting on release. He's amongst us. Now biblically speaking, whether or not he has been thrown out of heaven, or whether this event is still in the future, is an area where many disagree. And we stayed divided. I personally think he keeps a room at the governor's house in California. You know, whenever he's in the area. But on a serious note, many believe Satan's throne is in Switzerland. Uh, This might explain why the nation never got trashed up in any wars. And the same is said of the Vatican as well. I don't know. John of Patmos says the seat of Satan is in Pergamos which is in modern-day Turkey. Either way, if he is amongst us, that sure would explain the state of this planet. 
Thanks for watching, everybody.